In this episode of Research and Design Build, we're going to go over staining your fence for the first time and the last time. That's right, the last time. So this is the packaging that the eco wood treatment comes in. It's a relatively small uh, package, but uh, it does mix up into 22 liters of stain. And this is what the product looks like inside. So it's kind of a granular product. And when you mix it with the 22 liters of water, um, it does dissolve it quite quickly. And I just hit it quickly with a, uh, with a mixer on the end of a drill to make sure the things were thoroughly mixed. So as you can see, I'm just using a, uh, uh, just basically a weed sprayer. Um, so absolutely nothing fancy, uh, just sort of the cheapest you can use. Obviously I did uh, give it a good thorough rinse um, to make sure it was clean before uh, starting with the uh, treatment of the fence. But uh, one thing that I did find, and uh, if you're not too familiar with these, uh, um, the nozzle, you, you want to get like a pretty good spray out of it. And so what I found is sometimes these get clogged. And so if you spin the tip off them and pull out, there is a little bit of a nozzle here. And sometimes that gets plugged up with material. And so I found that a couple of times through the process, I actually had to go back and clean this out. And so hopefully it'll focus here. But on mine, there's two two different holes. So the product flows through here, goes through these two holes, and then through the nozzle. And if these are plugged, then you're not going to get a good flow and you'll end up with a pattern kind of going one way or another way, or just getting more droplets out rather than a, a nice fan spray. And then you can adjust this as well um, by turning it in and turning it out to get more of an atomization or, or more of sort of water droplets and more of a, a narrow spray. Um, so you do want to keep kind of a balance uh, on that. I found if you went too wide, um, you're kind of starting to create more mist. And so you weren't actually getting the product onto the fence. Um, and then of course, if you went too narrow, then you're getting a lot of product just in one spot. So you kind of want to play with that balance. I got to the point where I was kind of doing two swipes uh, up and down per five inch panel. So it's kind of covering, you know, two and a half, three inches probably uh, per swipe, uh, maybe four inches per swipe, and then overlapping them a little bit there. So, um, but that is a, a little tip on, on what I found to use these uh, cheaper weed sprayers effectively for staining the fence. So this product is very easy to use. It dissolves very easily um, in uh, just regular uh, hose tap water, so it's uh, fairly cold. Um, but I uh, just hit it with a mixer on the end of a drill and it dissolved very quickly. Um, I didn't have to re-agitate it uh, as I was applying it. Uh, so you can see the speed. Uh, in a couple of hours, you can get uh, several hundred feet uh, worth of fencing done. And again, this is a one-time application, so uh, you apply it, and then that's it for the life of the fence. And that was the one thing that really drew me to this product. Uh, I didn't want to have something where every two years I was sitting out there for days uh, trying to apply it to my fence. And with some of the other products, you can't necessarily spray them on uh, because you could be, you know, affecting plant life or other things, uh, getting on yourself, getting on your pet when you're when the pet's walking around. Um, just a lot messier. Um, whereas this being a one-time application, water-based, uh, you know, not harmful to the environment or, or anything else. Uh, and again, very easy and quick to apply compared to some of the other products that are on the market, or I guess most of the products that are on the market. The only downfall is you don't have a wide choice of colors. So you're not going to have a very bright fence. And if you want that bright cedar look, uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to go back to some of the more traditional uh, uh, products, but the upkeep is going to be there and to get that bright finish, you're going to be sitting there doing it every couple of years. And it's, uh, for me, that's not, uh, not a whole lot of fun. 
So the key with having success with this product is making sure that you've got an even coat across the, uh, the entire fence. So you don't need to get it drenched, you don't want it uh, dripping all over the place, but you just want to try to get the wood uh, equally wet um, across the surface of it. So you got to kind of balance a little bit the pressure that you have in the sprayer as well as making sure that that, uh, that tip isn't clogged and that you've got uh, a nice even pattern coming out. Now again you'll see that I'm going across the top of the fence um, and doing the top fence boards using that uh, center uh, 1x4 as kind of the divider and just making sure that I'm going as evenly as, as uh, possible across it. And then uh, once I finish with that, then I'll move along and do the bottom section of the fence and then come up and finish any uh, trim pieces. So as long as you've kind of got a, a process or a pattern that you're going off of, then that will ensure that you've got an even coating over everything. If you're doing this on a particularly hot day, it will evaporate quite quickly. And so the product's still on the fence. Um, but you won't necessarily see that it's on the fence. So you could end up going over it uh, multiple times. And if you are going over it multiple times, then uh, potentially get more product on there. And those areas will end up uh, being a little darker. So, uh, you know, a nice overcast day or a cooler day is probably the best time to apply this. So that uh, when you get through one section of, of fence and you're going back, uh, you can still see what you've already wetted and what you haven't. And so you know where that product uh, is and where you kind of need to, to pick up and, and continue on from. So here's some uh, sped up footage of uh, doing a couple more sections of the fence so you get an idea of kind of the, the flow of things and, and how fast it, uh, it can go. Um, and then also I'll have some uh, finished shots of how things are after. Uh, but you can see on the left side of the screen um, what uh, my neighbor's fence that uh, was treated with this product looks like and uh, that's probably about four years old, five years old now um, and uh, so yeah so it uh, as long as you're okay with that uh, sort of gray finish um, then basically you apply it once and you don't touch it um, which is uh, which is fantastic. As always, if you uh, have appreciated this video and have learned something, found it useful, uh, please give it a like and please consider subscribing. There will be a lot more content uh, coming up in the future. As well, you can check out some of my older uh, uh, past videos um, about some other home improvement topics. Look forward to uh, you tuning in next time.